All right, let's, let's pop. Okay, pop, pop, pop. Oh, okay, okay, pop. It's not that, it's not about that. All right, so you're probably, if you're watching this video, you're one of two people. You're either one of those people that are trollers and you're like, Aikido's total trash and you wanna, you wanna put a comment and you're probably already doing it. Or you're one of those people that think Aikido is okay and you're like, well, let's see why he's saying it's okay. So So the first thing we've got to talk about is comparing Aikido to other arts. Kind of does it a disservice. I have a Ford Mustang, my buddy has a Jeep, and we do not compare who's going to win in this race or who's going to win in the off-road competition because they're built for different purposes. And I would say the same thing has to apply to this. Okay? Aikido is not meant for the ring or for the cage. Aikido is meant for the person who doesn't know what the other person knows. I am wearing a martial arts t-shirt right now. So if I walk to the mall right now and someone decides to attack me, they're probably gonna attack me a little differently than if I just had like a polo or something on. I have a, um, a story that's actually happened to one of my students. Uh, I had a female student, she was, in, she was in Texas and she was at a dance club and somebody said, somebody grabbed her wrist and said, hey, I wanna talk to you. And she dropped them with Nikio right in the club. She did the wrist lock on them, they hit the ground, and then she was like, don't touch me, and she walked off. So that's the first thing I wanna get out of the way is we need to not compare this art. It's not meant to be like, all right, let's, let's pop, okay, pop, 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 oh, okay, okay, pop. It's not that, it's not about that. If we're trying to catch it off a jab or catch it off a cross, it's gonna be really difficult. We also don't have gloves and stuff. Let's stop comparing it to other arts. I have fallen guilty of it myself. And realistically, do we compare, you know, wrestling to boxing? We don't complain that wrestlers don't have enough strikes, and we also don't complain that boxers don't have takedowns. They're they're designed for different purposes. All right, my second reason. It's a lot of fun. I have so much fun when I train Aikido. I get a kick out of it. It's a lot of soft movements, and I feel more in harmony. I could always tell you that's how it how it came off. As long as you have a kind of a good group of people and a good class, it's a ton of fun and you don't really get hurt at all because everything involves a role. All right, moving on. I know when I was in Japan, I taught Aikido when I was on base in Japan and I taught and I learned Aikido off base in Japan. The Japanese self-defense force and the Japanese law enforcement, they still train Aikido and they still use a lot of Aikido to subdue different people. If they're stealing, if they're this or that, they just drop them with it. To be really cool, especially considering that was what I what I wanted when I joined that program was like I wanted that piece of that culture. And then they also taught some of the weaponry and stuff like that. So cultural preservation would be my third reason. Reason number four, entertainment. I think uh, you see a lot of movies, you see a lot of TV shows like I mentioned earlier, like the Star Wars series, Obi-Wan, he uses Aikido, but it's always against an unsuspecting, an unknowing attacker. You see it in like shows like, like uh, or movies like Batman, you see it in Keanu Reeves, has a ton of Aikido in John Wick. It's cool when it's pulled off right, it looks good. Now I will admit there are a lot of YouTubers and I know uh, I have a lot of respect for Rob from McDojo Life because he is exposing some of the frauds out there. I'm saddened personally by the fact that there are so many uh, Aikido people that are fraudulent, but we need people that just like, hey look, someone grabs you, bam, there's the move and let's press on with life. I think it's a lot of fun and I think you guys have seen it in, in the media and it looks cool and that's a part of it why I'd say, hey, it's not BS because if you get really good at Aikido, you might have a chance at some stunts or some stuff like that in the entertainment industry and you never know, that could lead to some bigger deals. Moving on to reason number five, the grand poobah of all reasons. I think Aikido fits really well with other martial arts. If you're learning Jiu Jitsu, a lot of the wrist locks you learn in Aikido apply. If you're learning Filipino martial arts, we learn a whole thing called the Kunsi flow, which for me is just all Aikido. And I translate it all to Aikido terminology even right now, I'm practicing my instructor levels under Guru Ram Baliki for Filipino martial arts, and the last test was almost all Aikido out of the Huba training drill, the Huba energy drill. And so he's like, all right, show me this. And I was like, ah, okay, Rokyo. Okay, okay, now show me this. Okay, Ikkyo. Okay, now how about this? And I was just able to do like Kodagashi, Rokyo, Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, all that stuff out of this one flow drill. And it's because I had an Aikido background that that was easy for me. And it's also the same when it comes to like jujitsu. I know wrist locks are becoming bigger and bigger right now. And it's like, oh, okay, here's a slew of wrist locks that we can apply in jujitsu. It's just having that Aikido background I got from Japan really made these things easier. And then it also is just, it kind of gives me, I feel like it gives me a little bit of that, again, that historical, that culture, that 
that harmony, that fun side. The, Aikido, the elements of Aikido, the getting out of the way, the redirecting of energy and stuff like that, all that works really well. You can use it in jiu-jitsu, you can use it in catch wrestling, you can use it in multiple martial arts, basically. You can use it in mixed <laughs> martial arts. And so those would be my five core reasons why I say Aikido isn't BS. You guys can put in the comments below whether you agree or you disagree. I'm, I'm assuming I probably have like five already. Let me know what you guys think. Is Aikido BS? And if so, why? Or is it, why not? So that's today's video. This is Sensei JD. This is Martial Arts Limited. You know what to do. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you like stuff you see in our channel, Hulk smash. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button. And then last but not least, hit that bell icon, a ding ding, so you know when all the videos are coming out from all of us here at Martial Arts Limited. We got some really cool and exciting stuff coming up. As you saw, we had a whole bunch of stuff with Icy Mike and um, and Kev Lee and uh, Sifu Edstall and uh, Kickboxer Gabriel Varga. And we got some more cool stuff like that coming out in the very near future, so stay tuned. All right, we'll see you guys later. I'm out.